city suites. That's going to be the site for city suites too. Lawrence Place and Exchange Point. Going down there and still walking to the residence and the other projects over there. You can see there's a Salisbury local over there. And then really right around here, we've got Harvey Nichols, the entire Manchester Art Dealer shopping area. We've got Premier Inn. So we're obviously in City Suites 1 in here. Uh, so we drive Chapel Street is along the front here, the front doors are just in here to the main reception. There'll be actually a restaurant that we're opening probably in the next three months on mm. the ground floor here. Brilliant space for a restaurant. And then the executive lounge that we went in earlier, which is just for residents, is in this section here, so the second floor. Mm. So all of the area behind is Embankment West, so these three, in fact it's included with City Suites, but all the four buildings make up Embankment West. So this building here is City Suites 2, and that's going to be on this section of space just behind us here. You've then got both the Origin Homes buildings, so Lawrence Place and Exchange Point, that occupy the middle and the end of all this space behind, which you can see is under major demolition works at the moment. But everything really from the outer railings along here all the way yeah. along that concrete shell and the end is the space for Embankment West. Mm. So I guess with, with the trains really close your soundproofing your glazes are... Yeah well we normally wait for a train to come past because you won't hear it at all. Ah, that's... So, it's, so in fact there's a train going past here. Is that right? Excellent. Oh, it's always a beauty to have that. Yeah. You can hear the digger. Mm. But they have to be doing, I think it's 15 miles an hour here because there's Victoria train station just there. Yeah, yeah so they have to slow down, yeah. So you can't hear anything yeah, when you go past yeah. at all. It's all electrified rail now anyway, mm. so you don't get that same noise that you used to. But yeah, mm. you've got Victoria train. In fact, if you look out just through this window, you'll see where we are. Mm. So that there at the end is with the flag on top, that's Victoria train station, so that's the one that goes straight out to Liverpool, also goes up north, and the steps just in front of it, up to the left, that's Manchester Arena. Mm -hmm. And then you, if you look over this way, you've got the, that glass building there is the Football Museum, this is a uh, music college just here as well, and all those buildings, those glass ones in the background, that's the co-ops, co-ops oh, headquarters. Okay. So no mine. Exactly, no mine, yeah, yep. correct, yeah. And then you can just start seeing the print works. So that's the centre of town just there. So we're extremely close to everything here. Yeah, no, very good location. Yeah, I think people usually just look at it and think because of the railway, but really you can't hear anything. Yeah, you literally can't hear a thing. No. Yeah. Yes, because we've got VIPs living with us here. Mm. That for them, if if there was a lot of noise coming from that rail, of line, course they, they wouldn't live here. Yeah, yeah. So you've got you've got three of them facing on the back of this side all and only 100 metres, well less than that, probably 80 metres away from that rail line and they're not mm. bothered at all about it. So I think being here and seeing that is really key for the investors because yes. they can understand yep. that there actually isn't any noise that yep. comes from it. And I guess you're glazing as well, it's probably what, these days are yeah, double, triple... Yeah, they're, they're normally double glazed but double also glazed. a really good standard. Yep. So you don't get much noise at all. The only time is when you've got construction like of this course. going on outside. And even with that going on, we still yeah. have guests staying here. <laughs> So it kind of shows that there's another train going past, so you can see. Yeah. So you've got a little courtyard, I guess, in the middle. Yes. So there's, as I mentioned, the restaurant that's in here. Yes. There's another restaurant space going into the bottom of here. And then the two buildings in the middle are likely to have some element of small retail in there. Mm. Not much, nothing mm -hmm. significant. There's already a shop just down there with Sainsbury, so it's unlikely to be a supermarket or convenience store. Uh, but whether we put in a cafe or something to that effect may be possible. Mm. What was the completion dates again? Just to refresh. So it's March, April of twenty twenty. 
March, April of 2020 yes, for us. all three buildings. All at the same all time? All at the same time, yeah. Oh, I see. That's when you, well, I guess you're digging up the whole entire thing. Yeah, correct. Okay. So, Sir Robert McAlpine start. As soon as these guys finish, Sir Robert McAlpine are on to then start the build. Hmm. Okay. 